it appears to be official. Stone Cold Steve Austin is coming back for one last match at this year's WrestleMania. Or is he? Check out this clip. 19 years ago, I wrestled my last match in a WWE ring. After three rock bottoms, one, two, three, I lost the match. And for 19 years, I've had to live with that defeat knowing my time was up. Kevin Owens, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for waking something up deep inside me that I've kept buried for 19 years. Ever since you started running that damn mealy mouth of yours talking about the state of Texas, the great state of Texas, you got my attention. And why would you want to do that, Kevin? I can think of two reasons. One, you are one dumb son of a bitch. And two, you are fixing to get your ass kicked by Stone Cold Steve Austin. Whether you want to call this a KO show, a match, a fight, a brawl, whatever, I will guarantee you this. In Dallas, Texas, where I started my career at WrestleMania, Stone Cold Steve Austin is going to open up one last can of whoop ass on you, Kevin Owens. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. It would appear to be the case that Stone Cold has officially agreed to something at WrestleMania, but what exactly is it that we're getting? And why now? Right? Because Steve made it very clear in that little clip that we just heard that he he was mentioning like, you know, you could call it the KO show, you could call it a fight, you could call it a match, you could call it a confrontation, whatever you want to call it, but I'll be there. So for him to, I mean, he did say you could call it a match. And if he's calling it a match, then is he going to come back and after all this time get in the ring and actually get physical with Kevin Owens, like in the black trunks and the knee braces and all that shit. It will be interesting to see. But because he mentioned all those other things, that leads you to wonder. Have they not quite figured out exactly what it's going to look like yet? Uh, would it be more of maybe the kind of thing like when The Rock came back and beat up Eric Rowan and pinned him one, two, three, where it was just basically a quick, you know, maybe there's a confrontation in the ring and then there's a stunner, you know, like the bell rings, stunner, one, two, three, and we're done. We could also end up seeing something like a, uh, like a cinematic match where it doesn't even take place in the ring. I would imagine... If they're advertising Stone Cold for a confrontation at WrestleMania, it's going to be in the ring in Texas. They're not going to do it on the screen. So I think cinematic can be ruled out, but it's certainly a possibility. Uh, it could just be a street fight. Maybe Stone Cold's out there with the jean shorts and the fucking Austin 316 t-shirt and fucking... He's just out there just whipping Owens around ringside, slamming him into the rails and stuff like that. Like Stone Cold's arsenal was pretty limited as it was when back in the day after the uh, Owen Hart incident where he, you know, had that had that issue with his neck. So there's not it's not like he's going to get out there and he's just not going to be able to do as long as he's got the cardio and he's still in physical shape and he's appeared with his shirt off and shit before like on his tv his uh broken skull uh tv show that he had i want to say the sessions but that's not it that's the network show but you get what i'm saying so I, he's in good physical condition but if he's got cardio you know you don't want him to get all blown up fucking two minutes into the match either if it's going to go longer than that but he doesn't he, we're not going to be like well he can't fucking do the cross body blocks and the fucking monkey flips and the the dives and the you know the suplexes and all that shit like 
Stone Cold's going to go out there and he's going to throw fists and he's going to throw feet, boots to faces, boots to asses. And that's what it's going to be. That's what it's always been since the Owen Hart thing. Steve was actually a very technical wrestler when he was stunning Steve. Like, he could work a little bit, you know? I wouldn't say he's like, he wasn't like AJ Styles or anything like that. But his style was definitely more technical prior to him getting his neck broken, for sure. But it'll be interesting to see. Like, and, and then the other thing is why Kevin Owens? And why after all this time? Remember when the video game was coming out that had CM Punk on the cover and Austin was going to be a, a character, like a DLC or some shit? And they were, him and Jim Ross had this sit down, uh, you know, like Punk, Austin, Jim Ross in the middle. And they had this confrontation where they were like acting like if we were to, you know, to promote the video game, you could have theoretically, you could have Stone Cold versus CM Punk. And they're asking these two guys, so what would happen if in real life you guys had the opportunity? And they cut promos on each other and it was fucking beautiful. And it had the whole internet at that time saying, dude, we need this Stone Cold versus CM Punk match. How fucking amazing would that be? It would be fucking amazing. So why didn't it happen then? Why didn't he come back and face John Cena? Why didn't, like, to me, those are probably the top two. I don't know that there's, like, a, uh, a must-have one last match that I need to see. I know both Brock and Stone Cold had kind of mentioned that they wanted to work with each other in different interviews. So I know that would be one for their bucket list, not mine necessarily. Um, and I don't know that Steve ever could have came back and actually had a match with Brock like Brock likes to have matches. But like I know that Kevin Owens, I mean, there's probably a handful of guys on the roster. There's, there's several that he could feel safe working with. You know, Sammy comes to mind, another safe one. Lots of safe guys. AJ would take good care of him. Lots of guys would take good care of him. Randy. But him and Owens, like, they are kind of similar versions of each other. You know, Owens is that, he's not the beer-swilling redneck, but he's... He's the brawler, and he's the t-shirt wearing guy, and he's just out there to just kick somebody's ass. So, and of course, the stunner for obvious reasons. Um, I I mean, so of the people on the roster, Owens is, is a great choice, but why now? And why that feud? Like, if you're going to come back after 19 years, is that what it was? Almost 20 years out of the ring. And you're going to get in the ring with Kevin Owens? Like, okay, I know that sounds bad because Kevin o people love Kevin Owens. I love Kevin Owens. I, I respect him. I always have since the Kevin Steen days in Ring of Honor. But, like, it doesn't scream box office. Like, the attraction is Stone Cold's coming back. It's not Owens versus Austin must see you know what i mean like that was austin versus punk that's what that was or austin versus cena i mean the, the you sell out fucking any stadium on the planet with those matches especially cena versus austin in my opinion just the marquee value of it but kevin oh like why like they must be throwing Boat, look like fucking mini money bags, blimps, all that shit to Stone Cold at this point, right? Like, how much? Just here's a blank check. Write whatever you need on it to get back in the fucking ring. I don't care what it is. And why didn't they do that before? Are we that deep into the in case of emergency break glass? I mean, we almost got Vince coming back, and he may still come back. He may be involved physically in this Austin Theory gimmick or whatever, or add himself in to be part of the attraction, uh, because they're just throwing shit at the wall now to get people, like, 
And somehow every year, because Vince is a brilliant promoter, they are able to come up with whatever they need to make WrestleMania special. But at some point, that well's going to run dry. I mean, how deep are we now that Stone Cold Steve Austin is here? What's And we don't know everything. For all we know, Stone Cold could be going through some financial troubles. He hasn't been doing his podcast lately, and I don't know why he had one of the biggest podcasts in the whole fucking country. So, on the planet. So, I mean, he's leaving money on the table there, but, I mean, maybe there's health issues with somebody in the family. Maybe, I who knows? I mean, that's not fair to speculate on shit like that, but what is the reason now? And I don't think Kevin Owens is a big enough, like, well, that's just a match I can't pass up. That was a horrible impression, but it's it's a match you can pass up. You know, like, if I couldn't convince you, hey, you want to work with Punk? Hey, you want to work with Brock? Hey, you want to work with fucking Cena? Hey, you want to work with anybody else? And he just wasn't going to do it ever? I mean, I think Punk was probably the closest we might have got to a, a Stone Cold return. We were salivating for it at that time. I know I was. Here's the guy that was my favorite in the Attitude Era. As a little kid, his posters on my wall. Right now, when I look back in history, I don't necessarily think of Stone Cold as one of my all-time, all-time faves anymore. But I, I mean, respect the fuck out of the guy, right? And loved him as a kid. So. Just, like, why, after all this time, would you just want to come back for Kevin Owens? There's got to be something there. It's got to be the blank check from WWE. God, we need you. We'll fucking, I'll, I'll take your pants off and suck your dick. I'll do whatever you need me to do. Blank check plus dick job. Here you go. I mean, in 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 of course, that's John Laurinaitis giving the, the anyway. So, whatever it is. It will be interesting to see. I have faith that Stone Cold will be able to be Stone Cold. I don't think he'll embarrass himself because he's not. He never really did anything special. He was all charisma. He was all personality, and he hasn't lost any of that. As long as he can punch, he can kick, he can swear, talk trash, throw people, and flip middle fingers and stuff, he's going to be just fine. So it'll be interesting to see. WrestleMania, here we come, baby. Oh yeah, thanks for checking out the video, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like it if you liked it, yeah. And you can check out full episodes each and every Sunday right here on the channel. Oh yeah, dig it! <laughs>